In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a car oil change on a 2016.5 Mazda CX-5. The engine should be at normal operating temperature before you start. This is to ensure the oil flows properly. For this change, I'll be using a hydraulic floor jack. You may want to use ramps or a different kind of jack. It's just according to what you like. Okay, so first up, you want to make sure your parking brake's on. And then you want to block off the rear wheels. Alright, notice on my jack here, I've got this wooden disc cut out. This is to protect the undercarriage paint of the car. Okay, next I want to preview these jack points I'm going to use. It's where the A control arms connect to the frame. You can see these nice flat metal places here. This is where the jack's going to go. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to be placing the jack by hand at first. Get it into position. I try to position the jack so it's got just a little bit of an angle to the shortest part of the bumper so you've got just enough clearance here to get the jack rod in place. Jack it up. Here you can see I got the right front wheel about an inch up off the floor. Quick look at the right front pinch well jack point. I'm just going to use a standard jack stand and some cardboard paper. I like to use the cardboard paper just like I do for the, uh, the wood on the hydraulic floor jack. Check that undercarriage paper. Now I'm going to slowly release that jack and ease it down on that jack stand. Looking good. Now just rinse and repeat for the left front side. And you should end up with something like this. I, for extra safety, I'm going to take the hydraulic jack and wedge it onto this central jack point just behind the front wheels in the center of the car. You want to jack it so it's firm, but you don't want to lift the car in. Key here, remember to close that hydraulic jack out. Pop the hood. I like to remove the oil fill cap and dipstick ahead. You did buy the right kind of oil, right? Right, so with the car jacked up, here's what you need. The oil, oil filter, some oil drain plug washers or gaskets. Um, 
small flathead screwdriver, 8mm socket, 8mm hex key, and you may need a rubber mallet to loosen up the oil drain plug. And also you may need a oil filter wrench if it's the first oil change or you just over tightened it last time. Okay, so here's the uh, little panel that has to be removed to get to the oil filter and oil drain plug. You can see a couple of those plastic pop rivets and the screws. Um, so first of all, uh, get these rivets out. Just pry in, kind of gentle. Try not to uh, overdo it here. These things can easily break or deform. For the screws, I chose to use an uh, eight millimeter socket. You can use a Phillips head if you want, whatever's convenient. Pulling down gently from the rear seems to be the way to go here. Just ease it on out. You might want something to catch your oil with. Also, this is probably a good time to point out. Everything's hot, guys. Oil, engine. To proceed with caution. Okay, so loosen up the oil filter. Let that drain for a little bit. I let it go for about 10 minutes then just wipe it off and screw it out the rest of the way. Do it fast enough, you won't even get your hands dirty. Now using the 8mm hex key, loosen the oil drain plug, if possible. If not possible, use a little persuasion. Uh, just a few gentle taps from this uh, rubber mallet seems to be the trick. So one of the advantages of doing your own oil is you can let it drain for a long time. And the longer you let it drain, the better. And most of the bad stuff is at the very bottom and comes out at the very end. So I usually let my oil drain for one to two hours. Uh, and it'll drip maybe once every 10 seconds or so um, before I put the oil drain plug back in. But your mileage may vary, and um, that's a long time to wait for some people. Do it how you like.
summer is gone Summer is gone But the summer is gone So one problem I noticed on um, the first oil change is the uh, the washer is actually painted to the drain plug, so it can be kind of difficult to remove. I use some um, channel lock for that. Reinstalling the drain plug washer with the new gasket, you want to go in as much as you can by hand to avoid cross threading. I want to put a nice bead of new engine oil on the new oil filters rubber gasket. What this does is it helps make a good seal and importantly also it helps prevent the oil filter from seizing up against the motor so it's nice and easy to remove next time. So I talked about having to possibly use an oil filter wrench um, earlier and what I got here is sort of a huge way to do it with my really old school wrench. If your wrench is too big to fit the filter you can get some pieces of rubber or whatever to wrap around the uh, oil filter and um, that'll uh, make it to where you can cinch down on it enough to get it rotating uh, otherwise you might have slippage. Uh, this seems to work pretty pretty good for me uh, if, it's, if it's needed and sometimes on the first oil change it is needed. Uh, you can use a torque wrench to tighten up the oil drain bolt if you want. It's, uh, 27 foot pounds or so I believe. Um, I just do it by hand until I feel that crush washer crush. Getting the new oil filter lined up can be a little bit fiddly sometimes. Just need to stick with it. You'll get it in there. Just tighten hand tight, nice and firm. No tools. Nice and clean. Always.
nowadays look in the owner's manual to see what is the oil capacity for your car and the CX-5 um, I had to look for capacities in the index of the owner's manual to find it um, they show 4.8 quarts with an oil and filter change for this 2.5 liter Skyactiv motor um, but with a long drain like what I did I find that typically I can put a little more oil in um, than they allow for so I actually got about 4.9 quarts on this oil change so usually try to put in about 95 percent of what they call for first um, then do a measurement to measure basically uh, give it a minute, let the oil settle, and then use your dipstick, clean it, put it back in there. Look between the two dots. You want to be about halfway between those two dots. Keep filling and checking until you get it right there in the middle or just above the middle. Once you're there, crank it up. I usually let it sit about five minutes after turning the engine off, uh, give the oil a chance to settle, and you want to recheck, add more oil if you need. And it's also a good time probably to check for leaks after you've run the engine, check one last time. Uh, if not, we'll be buttoning it up here shortly. Now, when you go to put this cover back on, Watch out for this little flange right here. Uh, it'll get in the way and uh, make it difficult to get it back on flush. So make sure you get that just under the lip there. Front part goes under its own lip. Check, make sure your front part's nice and tucked in under that lip there. Reinstall all your fasteners, of course.
all done. Time to drop her back down. Ryan Little Production. out of the uh, pinch welds here you can see no damage car level you want to check the level of the oil one last time make sure it's still sitting right about the middle between those two dots most of the time the slight angle of the jackage doesn't really make much difference Now for the CX-5, uh, you can reset the maintenance minder um, using the Mazda Connect system as shown here. That's how it's done. 